Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber. If this is your first time here, so today's video, as you can see, is a Sims speed build video. I built a really big house compared to my last speed build, um, because I think I'm still in the mood of you know, tiny living and eco lifestyle, which I'm still in that vibe. You'll see. I use a lot of those objects, and I honestly have no complaints. They're really really cute. And so if this is the first time you're on my channel, my name is Amber, I'm a composition major, and on this channel I'll do makeup videos, talking videos, sims videos, and music videos. I messed up the, the order of those four things, but it's okay because, you know, you're here for this speed build, not me, I guess, I don't know. If you like my personality and like the way I talk, you can follow, just say it's free, and yeah. So right now, um, I need to tell you what I'm building. <laughs> this is kind of a dorm slash student stent center, center, center for college students, which I don't even have university game pack or expansion pack, but I think the idea of, you know, my Sims going to university is really, really tempting, but I'm not someone who will want to basically send my Sims to college. Like that idea that, that just doesn't, you know, it doesn't speak to me as much as I would want it to. But anyways, so I basically built this kind of big open area um, at the entrance. And then I have this front desk situation right here. Like you have this black table with um, computer and books. So like the student worker there can help you with your, you know, moving in and stuff. It's really cute. Um, and then on the other side of the building, um, a first floor, you have like this open study area where hopefully students can, you know, study. But in my playtest, they just would not stop playing Blick Block and not gonna lie, same. And so, yeah. In my college, in our lounges um, of our dorms, we have pianos. Actually, usually we have more than one. So I think, actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think my freshman dorm had a piano and like a keyboard and my sophomore dorm had two pianos I don't know I have no idea but anyways back to the build I also built another bathroom area situation kind of behind the front desk because I feel like you know when people really need to go to bathroom they need to see it like right when they enter a building well, yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know how to, you know, lay out a floor plan and it's not an issue that, like, I, I think I'm not the only person struggle with this. So I'm not even worried. I'm just like, okay, I had fun and I filmed this and I'm gonna just, you know, do a speed fill video because, like, it's kind of cheap, easy content. Uh, anyways, so back to the piano thing. I really like to have my sims gather around a bigger object, such as, you know, a piano or a bookcase or something in a build because I feel like it just feels homey and it doesn't, well, kind of softens the appearance and like existence of those big, big objects because I feel like, yeah, I just feel like if you put a piano in the middle of an, 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 an oh my gosh, I can't talk, an empty room, I'm so sorry, um, it's gonna look super out there. And so I just shoved it like right in the corner. So yeah, whatever. And so, kind of um, behind or beside the study open study area, we have this uh, medium room situation that, you know, is really cute. I feel like this is more of a study place for, you know, my sim students, sim students. That's such an ugly word. And yeah, mm, I, as you can see, used this sofa from Eco lifestyle, I think. Yeah, it is. And then I shoved some stuff on the corner or like highlight accent table. A uh, highlight table. What am I? Who? Huh? Anyways, um, because of how big the build is, I kind of skipped a lot on decorating. But just know I love to decorate my builds even more than like you know actually building them. Um, actually, I don't know. I enjoy building. I think it's such 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 a cute thing to do like growing up i used to play with you know doll houses and stuff and i was like i need my house to be like that and then when i'm now kind of an adult well like i'm legally an adult 
I get to build in The Sims and be like, this is a house that I will never get in my lifetime, despite how hard I work because I'm a music major. That's basically what I'm thinking. But anyways, you know, now, as you can see, I'm working on the rooms uh, for those kids, kids, students, adults, legal adults. And I wanted this to be, you know, as mentioned, a bigger house, hall, whatever you want to call it. And so... Uh, we have two double bedrooms and a triple bedroom on each floor, which I would say is kind of overkill, to be honest. But, you know, I, when I was building it, I was like, okay, I need this to be as real as possible. So I didn't really think about it too much. I was like, okay, this sounds fun. I'm going to do it. And so I did it. And I, I don't know. Every floor has, you know, a bathroom and shower area and it's connected to the kind of their living room hall area so it's in the middle and then it connects to the three bedrooms as well as the bathroom that's just the layout of um those second and third floors because they're you know student living area living as in like resident area <laughs> and so yeah i have to play with the layout of the beds and stuff because you know in a dorm it's really limited and I don't know, in my sophomore dorm, it was, I don't know, we, we we all ended up having beds that we are, like, you know, happy with, but it's definitely not super achievable in this situation, because I feel like, if you look at the triple bedroom, first of all, it's so big, but it's so tiny, like, it's, it's in a weird shape. And I also don't want to give the window to like one sim only, which I actually did in third floor for a, a dude, but like it's it's okay, like whatever. Had to take a sip because this is my second take. My first take was actually really, really, really bad. It was so bad that I wasn't able to like sit through my own voice. But like given like I edit my own videos and stuff, I... I'm not annoyed by my voice most of the time, but I was just now. So I was like, girl, stop it, cut it out. And so here we go. I mean, I like the shower area. It looks super sleek. The shower from, which pack was it? Seasons, I think, that has like the brick side um, against the wall and has, you know, the kind of industrial sleek looking shower heads. That's really cute. I like it. I really like it. But I don't know. I have to push it like with into the wall in order for the you know brick wall to not show up which you know I don't mind but like in this situation I want it to be as clean as possible because it's a student dorm and I think you know I would want my dorm shower to look clean if it's like a brick wall I I'd be like someone probably like you know um cried in this stall and probably you know, rinsed out her bleached hair, which I've done <laughs> in my dorm, but you know, it's just student showers. Uh, it's not clean. <laughs> clean as in like, j just not looking nasty. Some dorms in my college, they have nasty showers. I've seen those and I was like, uh, better luck next year. Better get out of this, you know, hell hole. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going way too far. Right here, I'm, you know, like, when I'm building, I was like, oh, it's really interesting how my dorms, or like, sorry, my buildings are not, you know, how I changed my build style, because when I started this game, well, before I played Pirate, uh, I, you know, wasn't really sure how to do this. Like, before, when I still pay played the Pirate game, Pirated version, I don't know. Um, and I built those houses that are kind of open and I don't know, it's like really ugly. So we have the gate and we will have the living room on the left or the right. And then honestly, I still don't know how to build a living area. And um, in the middle is a hallway and then we have bathroom, um, you know, bedroom. And then we'll have, you know, kitchen and stuff on the other side and some gigantic items such as the DJ machine or piano or other stuff like that, which is not cute. And so now, like, I kind of learned that you need to shrink your houses a little. Oh, by the way, 
um, a little bit of side note, this gothic or like hellish looking um, corner, you know, the carpet, the bed, the table, actually I switched it out later, like, because this is kind of built for a specific sim, 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 who is a witch. And it turns out her witch trait actually broke my game. Uh, so I had to take it out so she's no longer a witch anymore, which is sad, but like she dresses in full gray, black and white. And so that's the furniture I chose for her. Anyways, back to the build thing. I basically figured out that I should keep my rooms tinier. Um, and like open spaces are really, really, really hard to, I don't know to manage, if you will. <laughs> it's just hard. And I've built a kind of cute house, if I'm gonna toot my own horn. Um, I mean, I'm, I didn't finish building it. I built a shell and I just need to decorate it and stuff. But the living area is a hellhole. Like, it's a hellhole. It's not good. And so I was like, okay, um, what can we do to fix this? And I was like, you can't do anything because like at the at that time the build is already there and I was like Crap, so I might need to start over but the layout the you know the shape It's kind of cute not gonna lie So I'm really sad, but I don't know uh, And right now as you can see I'm putting in windows and stuff because I need some sunlight So does my sims and so the fourth floor which is, you know, on top of the men's floor, is going to be an open community area where people can eat and basically eat. Um, so that's kind of cool. I shoved in that uh, coffee station. Is that what you call it? Coffee, coffee place um, from Windenburg. I mean, uh, what is it called? Get Together. It's, even though it's such an old pack, the items and... Basically, the gameplay of it is really, really nice. And I think in that pack, the builds actually have characters, which is, you know, I, I never thought I would say that about a Sims build and stuff, but it actually is. And it's really interesting to see how they had, you know, EA had ideas before, and now they don't. I mean, I'm not saying they don't have ideas anymore. I mean, so, so, so Snowy Escape was, as you can see, very successful. I haven't purchased them yet because I don't like to purchase packs full price. That's just because I'm a poor student and I don't think EA, 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 EA deserves my, um, my, my parents' hard-earned cash. So, uh, yeah. And I would also want to say that it's so interesting to see how, um, what is it called? Oh, Get Together was able to incorporate both, you know, kind of the Victorian, Tudor, whatever you want to call it, European style with the modern style, you know, builds and buy stuff. Um, my favorite kind of, uh, what is it called? Railings for stairs is from Get Together. It's the glass one. It's really sleek and cute and it's just like modern, the epitome of modern wet dream. And I was just really shook, I guess, that they were so creative back then, but now we saw a decline, but then we're seeing hope again. I think it's really interesting to see how, you know, players or as a community, we, you know, we kind of vote with our cash and like show them how much we need them to make a change. I don't know, because I didn't purchase it, but like there, there are definitely a lot of people who bought Snow Escape because it looks really tempting. It looks really good. And I think, to be honest, I'm tempted. If they have a sale sometime soon, I'm going to buy it. Like, I don't, I don't care, but it's just, you know, I, I, I kind of like the idea of, you know, going to a different culture and stuff, partly because I'm East Asian and stuff. And I think representation really matters. Beauty is power. I can't say that enough. Because I, you know, I, I also do makeup content. So I know how important it is to have people see others who look like them to be on, like, ad campaigns and stuff. Because it's just so important. I would not want to buy something from your brand if you don't have someone who looks like me representing your brand. And I don't know, this is so far-fetched, but I think it's, it goes with a lot of the 
um, I guess, ideas in The Sims as well. Skin tones. If you don't have my skin tone, why would I want to play with you? This this is the kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, outcry, if you will. Mm, I don't know. Hi guys, it's editing me, and um, right now I'm gonna just not show my face because I was talking about a situation and using an expression that I wasn't really, you know, clear about. Basically, I was saying, like, you know, the community needs to hold, you know, EA accountable and makeup brands and, you know, like, black makeup users and simmers have been talking about skin tones and we need to listen to them. And honestly, I think Snowy Escape and like an in-depth pack on someone's culture is kind of a right move. I'm not going to complain. And so, yeah, I actually have hope for them. But I do want to say that, yeah, keep it up, yay. <laughs> so basically, the backyard as we talk, we built the whole thing. And I really think it's cute it's so cute. look at that look at that like eco lifestyle thing i don't know what it is called it's a shade i guess and i put the the flipper flipper flip flop uh lights onto the actual shade and it's creativity talk about bang for your buck it, or like bang for your battery i guess and you know as usual i use debug for what is it called debug for plants greenery or foliage foliage sounds like such an expensive word i don't know i just feel like there are words that sounds expensive and words that sounds cheap foliage is definitely those expensive sounding ones and uh what else eh, i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna get into linguistics and stuff because that's not my forte um that that's my piano oh pun intended not just not that's not even a pun oh my gosh just stop it uh i don't know i'm kind of tired of myself right now <laughs> uh i've been talking for like 17 minutes straight that, that's that's been great like i think if my speed build videos can be a little bit more chatty a little bit more you know natural relax whatever i think Honestly, I think my viewers can actually use my speed build as a kind of, what is it called? This podcast. Honestly, if you want to listen to me talk, just be whatever, be myself, express my opinions on stuff, be my guest. Now, um, you can see those simps walking into the dorm, the front desk lady be like, oh. and then, you know, my girl, that's the girl I was talking about, wears gray and black and white all the time. She's cute. Um, and I also really, really like how, you know, they interact with the game items. The Deadly Murphy, okay, my, ugh, 14 sims, right? I have 14 sims in my household and two were killed by the Murphy bed, me included. So, yeah. You know, the meeting room is cute and stuff. The lounge, it's just like typical college lounge. I don't really have anything to say about that. And, you know, barbecue and stuff, the, the out, outdoor area is actually, I think, the highlight of the build. Um, you know, dorms are like this. I actually miss my college friends because friends, you know, um, I'm, uh, eh, no, I can't just go back because, you know, COVID and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really sad. I also, you know, make my friends as sims so I can, like, see their sims. And that's really cute, to be honest. And that's the end of my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!